So you guys have really been enjoying my cloth simulation videos and today we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna be making a ski mask as you can see here and it's gonna start by laying out this pattern and then we're gonna snap it onto this female head character. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can get this model. It's one of mine on Gumroad and this is just gonna be fun. I'll even show you one of my other ones. Here is another design that I did. This one's gonna be up on my Patreon but it's the same kind of concept and it's just a ton of fun to play around with. And just real quick, if you ever wanna take your Blender skills further and you want some high quality courses, you can look in the description below and you can actually use my link to get one month of free Skillshare all in the description below. And you can even check out, once you do that, some of my courses. They're all Blender at the moment and they take you step-by-step step from making some really awesome projects. And it comes with all of the files and resources. And it's just really cool. So far, I've had hundreds of students and the feedback has been fantastic. So in the description below and let's get started with this tutorial. So if you wanna follow along with my model, I'm gonna provide it in the description below on my Gumroad page. You can go ahead, just download it for zero dollars. So it's free or you can just use your own model, but that's in the description. You're gonna download a zip folder. Once you have that zip folder downloaded, you're just gonna extract the blend file inside, and then you're gonna run the blend file. Once you're inside, you're gonna see this is the model. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in a plane. We're gonna go G, Z, and move that plane up into the middle. And then we're gonna tab into edit mode, that's really important. And inside of edit mode, we're gonna go G, X, and move it over to the side, and then go R, nine zero in the front of graphic view and it should rotate perfectly. So we want it here towards the side, okay? So in the front view, you can see it's over to our right side. We're then gonna press free on the number pad to go into the right of graphic view. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to wireframe. We're gonna move this over so it's kind of covering the head over here. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go subdivide. We're gonna go to our subdivision tab and go take it up to two cuts for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this edge over here with our edge select mode and holding and shift select this edge down here. We're gonna go E, Y and extrude it forward a little bit like so. And let's go to our vertex select option and select this vertex here and go double G to slide it up a bit. Grab this one here, double G to slide it down. And then we're gonna grab this one and holding and shift select these three over here. E to extrude up and then S to scale like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and get your proportional editing tool. Now let's grab these two verts over here. We're gonna go G, Y. I'm just gonna move them back like this till they're about here. We can see the nose sticking out. I'm gonna grab this vertex here. We're gonna bring it up. Maybe bring this one down. And this is just kind of our layout, our initial layout before we add too much division. So we're gonna have something that looks like this. And I'm gonna come here to the back, bring in this vertex and then bring it in this vertex, move this one out of little bit, so something like this. And then we're gonna grab this corner one up here, move it in, grab this corner one and move it in. And then move this one kind of down and out a little bit and just round it out a little bit here at the top, like so. Just so it kind of follows the contour of the head a little bit. And it doesn't make much sense now, but eventually we'll add more topology, just a rough layout at first, it's always a good way to go. And then over here, let's grab these ones and kind of level them out a little bit more or put them at an angle. So let's go for about, let's say 30 degree an angle here. And then we're gonna grab these four verts over here. And we're gonna go E to extrude and extrude them down to make the neck bit. And let's grab this bit over here, bring it in like so. And this is what we're gonna go with for now. Okay, so this is what you should have in about roughly these positions here, right? That's important. So you can see they're all roughly square. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna right click and you can go subdivide, right? Now we have more topology. And at this point, we're gonna grab this vertex here and move it in a little bit. And let's grab this one, round it out. Grab this one here, bring it down past the lip a little bit. And then over here, we're gonna go Control R and over here, Control R. It needs a little bit more topology. And over here, it's looking a little bit stretched. So I'll just grab these verts here in the middle and bring them down a bit. But we're trying to just even out these kind of quads as much as possible. Something like this. And then we're gonna grab this one here where the neck is, round it out a little bit more. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press A to select everything again. We're gonna right click and go subdivide. So um, we need all of these subdivisions as much as possible. Now you can press A to select everything and you can go to your smooth tool and just give it a little bit of a smoothing like so. So this is what we have right now, okay? And let's now go 
into our front of graphic view with everything selected let's go e to extrude and x and extrude it this way so out on the other side and what we need to do is go over to our overlays we need to enable normals and at the moment you can see we can only see our normals on the inside so if we press a to select everything and we go alt n and we go recalculate outside all of these normals should now be pointing outwards you can see these normal indicators here and that's exactly what we want that's going to be important so let's grab our face select and let's turn off proportional editing and let's select all of these faces in here where the face sits all the way up to here so this inside c looking section and we're going to go x and we're going to delete the faces and then we're going to select all of these ones where the neck opening is and we're going to go x and we're going to delete those faces and then we're just going to select these ones and these ones, so all of the ones pretty much that make up the front like this is going to be selected. So we don't want anything on the sides selected, just the middle bits like this are active. And then you're going to go X and you're going to go only faces, so only the faces. And now we're going to leave it at that. We're going to tab back out and we now have this rough shape in, shape in place. We're now going to go over to our physics and we're going to give this a cloth and then we're going to grab the head. That's super important. And we're going to give it a collision under the physics. So the cloth knows to interact with it. Let's grab our cloth again and let's go back to our physics for the cloth. We're going to go down to the shape. We're going to enable sewing and we're going to give it a strength of 21. And we're going to go up to the very top and set the quality steps to 14. And we're going to go all the way down to the collision and we're going to set the quality steps here to 12. And now we're going to make sure to save. And now on frame one, we're going to hit the space bar and you're going to see our simulation is going to run. So let's just pause for a second and you can see it's looking a bit messy, but more or less, it's kind of what we're looking for. So we're going to right click and go shade smooth for now. And there's a few things we can do to make this look better. So at the moment, it's not grabbing the chin here very well. So let's go back to frame one. And let's tab back into edit mode. And to make that work, we're gonna grab the vertex select option. We're gonna come here to the chin and while we're in wireframe, we're just gonna grab in our right orthographic these two verts over here, enable proportional editing. And then we're gonna go G and move it up a little bit more towards the lip and a little bit more in like so. Then select these two verts, bring them up. And then these ones here and bringing it up a little bit towards here can really help. And if you want to kind of make it look smoother, you can also grab these two verts over here and then go G and just kind of bring them in just to round them to the chin a little bit more like that. And then if you tab back out and you save, you can go to frame one, hit the space bar again. And now you can see it grabs a lot better around the chin. And if you get kind of like this gap opening up, just go back and just slightly grab these ones in front and just keep moving them forward just a little bit going back to frame one and hitting the space bar till you kind of have that gap closing a little bit more. But you kind of see where we're going here. So that is looking like a ski mask at the moment, but you can see it's still a bit uh, messy in some places. So if you get kind of like really um, overlapped places like this, in those places you can just tab in and just grab those verts and then move them in closer to the head. So it's not as baggy, if that makes sense. And then just go back and rerun the simulation. And the more you do that, the better and better it's going to start looking. So at the moment, we kind of have these folds and wrinkles, which don't look bad because they're actually what you would see on something like this. So let's go now over to our modifier. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. That's going to really smooth things out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over and give it a solidify. And let's give it some thickness like this. And you can see we have some glitchy bits over here, but what we can do is just tab back in. And in those sort of situations, it's just gonna be a matter of manipulating the geometry until it kind of starts kind of fixing itself a little bit. And that's already looking a lot better. So you can see this looks like a ski mask. So let's grab the mask. Let's go over to our materials. Let's give it a material. And I always like to add a viewport material, it just makes things look a bit better. So I'm gonna make it darker in a viewport display and increase the roughness. So now we have this sort of thing. But let's make it look even cooler by adding a few more details. So follow along and you'll see what we're doing. So let's grab this over here, tab into edit mode, and let's go over and select all of these faces running along here. So we're gonna move one row up and select these faces. 
and let's select these faces one row up on this side and let's go X and delete or only the faces and then we're going to select these bottom faces and we're going to give them a new material we're going to assign and let's give that a separate material and the cool thing about this and the reason we do these segments instead of just adding a color to a bottom row the reason we're letting it so like this because if we now tap back out and we run this you can actually tell that there is a fold in the fabric because some people say why don't you just build it around a character instead of making all these separate little pieces and that's why and then we kind of get this cool looking little um, strip that runs around the neck you can kind of do the same thing with the face over here I'll quickly show you um, one side we can grab this edge running in here and then we can go E to extrude as to scale and then bring it in a little bit like so and then we're going to go control R add in a loop over here and then just slide it in like so and then what you can do you can go over on this side the other side E to extrude as to scale and kind of roughly match it up like so scaling it something like this and then go control R left click and just slide an edge in here and then what you can do is you can select this edge over here holding and sh shift select this edge opposite and go F to fill that face and then what you can do is you can go to the bottom grab this one over here holding and shift select this one opposite and go F to fill that face and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go to our face select option and then just go shift alt left click and then select this fin strip running through here and also this fin strip running through here and then you're going to go X and delete only the faces and let's also select this face here and holding and shift select this face and go X and delete only the faces so now we have this and now if we tab back out we go to frame one and we hit the space bar we can see now we have kind of like this ribbing running through here and you can actually give that its own material as well to make it really stand out so let's give it that other pink material and you can see that's what it looks like so that's pretty cool and using this method you can make a pretty cool looking ski mask so over here you can see it looks a bit funny over the lips so let's just grab that move it down a little bit rerun the simulation And there you can see. So that is how you make a ski mask. I'm gonna quickly show you my original that I've find a little bit more. So you can see here it is. And with this one, um, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I just spent a little bit more time correcting it, but it's the same idea and it came out looking really cool. And I'll show you something even cooler. Here is a version that I made where I made some ear holes for the ski mask as well. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be uploading this one to my Patreon. So that's going to be in the description below if you want to join that. And I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.